Hello, we're the Black Swans. I'm Alicia. I'm Tanika. I'm Miriam. Today we're going to be discussing our top five. Yes. Top five favorite movies of all time. All time? Yes, all time. Okay. Who wants to start? Starting with me. Rush Hour 2, featuring Jackie Chan and Chris Tucker. Yeah, yeah. Hilarious movie. Great movie. I can watch it countless times without ever getting tired of it. Mm -hmm. My favorite line was probably, Dang! He ain't gonna be in. Oh, no, that was the, that that was was the blooper. That was the bloopers. Well, I love that blooper. Uh, I love the blooper. I remember watching it in theater. It was like, Dang! He ain't gonna be in Rush Hour 3. And then they were like, Dang! That was funny. You know, he ain't gonna be in Rush Hour 3. No, no. You know what my favorite line was? He was just like, When this guy, when they were at the casino, he came up to him and then Chris Tucker said, he said, I know, I think you need to go over there and count something. That, I used to I used to all the time. And then he, he's like, <laughs> the cab driver. Was oh, yeah, yeah, He's like, who's you going to rock? Who's you going to rock? Like, da, da, da. He was like, he was like, no, you're speaking my language. I that like was, that Okay, so we knew a lot of lines for that one. Okay. Yeah. I like, this wasn't my, like, quotables, but I like the scene where he thought that Chris Tucker's character was dead. And then... He saw the boom. He was like, Who's dead? You did it. No, not that one, girl. That was our favorite. That was clearly. I'm talking about on the boat. Oh, on the boat. Okay, okay. sorry. On the boat. When he was like, Who's dead? De you. 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 Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. And that then, was like, good. Well, that's the part I liked when he was like, All I wanted to do was a little boosh. <laughs> yeah. All he wanted was a little Oh, yeah. Bush, and there would be mad. There would be mad funny when the. um. The hot detective was uh, where they were watching the hot detective. Oh, was the like, lady. Oh, no, nothing going on here. She's just sleeping. <laughs> it was yeah, that funny. Yeah. He, was like, he was like, slow down, baby. And they were like, what did you say? Like, nothing, nothing. <laughs> he, he made sure he got the, the binoculars, though. Yeah. Like that's... Chris Tucker's character. <laughs> yeah. All right, all right. Number two, here. My second favorite movie. Mm -hmm. uh, um, let's see here. I'm gonna have to go with Deja Vu featuring Denzel Washington and Paul Patton. I thought that that movie was just excellent all around. It had a little bit of everything, crime, drama, suspense, romance, you know. It had a little bit of everything. I really enjoyed it. My favorite quotes were when they were watching Paul Patton's character in the shower and then they were like, um, can somebody please tell me what, you know, scientific, whatever, scientific blah, blah, blah that we're going to get from watching this woman shower. And then, and then another dude was like, we just want to make sure the woman's clean. I thought that was hilarious. <laughs> and then, yeah, just the whole romance was, was just really cute and how he was trying to save her even though she was, you know, already dead. And yeah, I just thought that was a great movie. And I was like, I really liked the ending with the Beach Boys with the Don't Worry Baby. And then he was like, nah. And it was, it was great. Mm -hmm. I really loved when he came back. And yeah, and he was like, nah. No, no. Well, that kind of went forward. Oh, well, like literally when his character came back. Uh huh. Like the non dead version of him came okay. walking up. We were like, oh, oh yeah. yeah, yeah. Gosh, I really funny. thought he died too yeah. when I first watched it. I actually, uh, well, like, he kind of did die. Yeah, he actually did. That, uh, that version time of his did, did die. Died. I thought that guy was a really creepy villain. All right, what's so number three? Like Jesus and. <laughs> Let's just do three movies. All right, what, what's what's your third one, Mary? Y'all do your third one. Just do it because we're going to finish it up. You do the third one. My third one. I mean, I like, I've watched a ton of movies, but, um, jeez. Just to, like, mix it up a little bit, there is this movie featuring Jet Li called Twin Warriors, where he and his best friend were separated, and then one of them became, like, a general, and then he was just, like, kind of, like, a carefree, like, uh, karate, I don't know. Oh, I think I remember seeing that Karate movie. guy, I don't want to say, I don't remember the exact logistics of the movie, but... Pretty much, but their best friends became enemies, and so mm -hmm. that's why they were called Twin Warriors. And then uh, it was just an excellent movie. It was just funny. Jet Li's character went crazy for a little bit because he got betrayed by his former best friend, and then they had this epic battle at the end where it was just great. So okay, that was Twin I Spoiler alert! I think I want to watch it. Twin Warriors was a really good movie. I remember watching that many times with my dad when I was a child. Okay, good. Alicia, what's your top three? My top three are. The Mummy, The Matrix, and Beauty and the Beast. The Mummy, 
the one with Brendan Fraser and Rachel Wise, not the crappy reboot with Tom Cruise and <laughs> Scary Girl. Okay. The original. Jeez. Oh, actually, that was a reboot too. Yeah, right. <laughs> the Brendan Fraser one. Yeah. Um, was awesome. The I loved like all the characters. I thought it was perfect casting, great acting. Mm -hmm. Brendan Fraser was just mm. like he was great. Yeah, he role. was great in that role. What was the character's name? Uh, Rick. Rick. Rick and Jonathan, Evie's brother. He was. was so oh my gosh, he was he was excellent comic early for that movie. I like. It the was American. so ratchet. It was hilarious. Yeah, the Americans were funny too. I love the chemistry between Brendan Fraser's character and Rachel Wise. Mm -hmm. And I just loved, I actually even thought the guy who was the mummy. Did, yeah, yeah. Like the mummy was really Emotep, good. Emotep, yeah. I like Emotep. I love that. They, they, they have, that movie had a little bit of everything too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think it was a little bit cheesy, but it worked. <laughs> yeah, it and, was really cheesy. Okay, so The Matrix, the first Matrix. I love that movie so much. I'm not normally into thing, anything with any kind of violence in it, but my favorite scene was when um, Neo and Trinity went inside the building at the end to retrieve Morpheus, and they sh were shooting oh, the yeah, up yeah, with yeah. their trench coats. Iconic, yeah. And I just, that movie was epic to me. I thought it was a great metaphor for... Allegory. Yeah, allegory for everything that's going on in our world and our society. Mm -hmm. And I just yeah, we're caught in the matrix. No, no, I'm kidding. <laughs> it feels like that sometimes with technology and stuff. Like, mm -hmm. and I mean, so, yeah, we're plugged in now more than ever, more so than when that movie came out. But anyway, yeah. So that that was awesome. Right. Was that the was that the one where the guy portrayed them, or did he portray them in the second one? I, I'm, oh, that, that was the second one. Matrix. No, that was the first one. It was him. Yeah, it's the guy that wanted the new life. <laughs> he hated being in there. And then um, uh, Beauty and the Beast, the, the animated version. Mm -hmm. uh, that was my favorite. Bonjour. Bonjour. Yeah. My bonjour. favorite bonjour. Disney, bonjour. Disney classic from the 90s. Because the baker with his tray like. Let me stop. Let's get I thought Belle was, was uh, a renaissance woman for not wanting to marry. <laughs> Dude, she was the first Dude, feminist. Uh, like, no. The traditional stuff. That's true. She predated that whole... That you know, was a, yeah, like with the Frozen and whoever else, the Brave and, Girl. And I like the Beast as the archetype for these, um, these dark, I forgot what they're called, these type of characters in literature where they're like, you know, like a Mr. Darcy, Mr. Rochester. Okay, well you could check back in on that later. Alright, my top three. Yeah, I didn't even say that. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> so like these, these um, angry guys that... To me, Kim, let me wrap it up. The music in the and the, the ballroom scene, Taylor's all this time, it's gross because he's a beast. But I mean, she knew he was a she human. She saw right though. past him, clearly. She, knew she he went was to the West Wing and saw his picture. She, she, like, oh, she, she knew what was up. up. She yeah. knew what was up. Like, okay. Yeah. So all she right. didn't want to, she knew she could break the curse and get a man, mm -hmm. which is kind of what the. the not feminist like. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Alright, my top three is um, Pride and Prejudice. This is a adaptation of Jane Austen's classic. I mean, if you don't know you about this story. The 2005 one with Kira Knightley and I don't know what the, guy, the guy's name was. Matthew McFadden. There you go, Matthew McFadden. And then those couple of other people came out of it, Carrie Mulligan and a few others. Anyway, um, I love that uh, uh, adaptation of it. Uh, I don't know why it's just it just worked for me and if yeah I like the book I read it in high school so I really loved that one it's cute I love romance my second favorite was Clueless. Gotta shout out the mom Wait. who was hilarious. Oh, I like the Pride and Prejudice the vampire version that one was good. I will never watch cool. that. I don't remember but there was a vampire version and it was great. I will never watch that. Okay, then <laughs> you're just not gonna ruin a classic like that. Okay, Clueless with you know Cher, Ty, and Dion. This this was uh. My, one of our favorite movies growing up, but I just loved it. I always just used to act like I lived in the clueless world. It was just crazy. Like, I just thought I was in Beverly Hills. I thought I was Cher or Dion. I'm more so Dion. I liked her a lot, but it was, or Ty. Actually, I thought I was all three of them. I just wished I had a clip like that. It was just great. Mm -hmm. I love the story. And then Kill Bill Volume 1. Yeah. I mean, Quentin Tarantino did a great job with that, and Uma Thurman killed that role. Almost literally I killed remember, everybody in that I role. I remember... Mm -hmm. when, I, when that came out, was that like oh, 2004 or something like that? Yeah, mm -hmm. I think like so. That. I remember that there used to be all of my ringtones. You remember when like ringtones were like downloadable and like it used to be an actual thing where you can download mm -hmm. ringtones? 
That used to be my oh, ringtone. Oh, the, the whistle. The whistle used to be my ringtone. And okay. then that's Yes, and we were getting mad. I would do that. Yeah. That would be my ringtone too. Is that the one? Oh, okay. Let's not act like that scene wasn't the best. Like when she killed the 88 people, we know it wasn't 88. That was the best. Mm -hmm. And then she killed favorite. the other chick. And is that the same movie where she killed Dogo or whatever her name was? Dogo? Yes, I loved that. I loved that. Yeah, that was the same. Truly, truly you, I thought I did. I wish Gogo won. No, I like Gogo. And the first one, she killed the crazy 88 and that girl. And well, because she was, was a part, she was and before the box. Because she was before them. Yeah. Okay. And when did she kill over? And already she. Damn, yeah, she, she did, did that. End. She did it went that. From, it went from Vivica Fox to. Oh, yeah. they went out of order. That's why that series yeah. is classic. Yeah. Oh, so my favorite. What was your third one? That is my third one. I'm just saying that my favorite scene was when over and she chopped that guy's head off in the meeting. Oh yeah, that's, that was all. <laughs> yeah, that was all. I love that. that. Awesome. She just went. <laughs> done. If anyone has anything to say about my heart, no! I always remember I the, uh, like jerk head. <laughs> she was like, now's the... And then the, the like TBS version where they had to cut out the curse. Like, now's the time! <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. And the way the lady was translating it, she thought she was... She was like, she was like... She was like, she was all proud of her, like, good job, man. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, well, those are Maybe our... Maybe he was going to get killed, but anyway. That's it? Yes, yeah. those are our favorite movies mm -hmm. top three movies of all time so if you watch it please share yours in the comments mm -hmm. thank you for watching peace out